The history of salicylic acid and aspirin is quite interesting, but I'm more interested in acetyl salicylic acid as its use as a precursor molecule. It can be readily extracted from aspirin tablets and converted to salicylic acid. The salicylic acid can then be reacted with methanol to make the nice minty smelling wintergreen, or it can be decarboxylated to make phenol. Phenol is an extremely useful molecule and can be used in a multitude of reactions to produce many useful products. Just as a couple examples, phenol can be nitrated to form picric acid or it can be reacted with acetone to form bisphenol A. I decided to attempt a pretty large extraction using 500 tablets containing 325 milligrams of aspirin each. To do this, I used a liter of acetone, but you could also use anhydrous ethanol or methanol. When choosing your tablets to extract from, look at the ingredients and try to find the tablets with the fewest extra non-medicinal ingredients. The tablets I used only contained starch and cellulose, both of which are effectively insoluble in acetone, which makes the extraction much easier and more efficient. Scale the amount of solvent you use accordingly, depending on how many tablets you plan to extract from. The first step is to powderize and crush up all of the tablets. You can see here that I am actually struggling quite a bit to crush the tablets. And in my pathetic attempt, some of the tablets even flew out of the mortar. Instead, I opted for a much easier method. I transferred many tablets at once to a piece of paper and then swiftly tapped each tablet with a hammer. Just one tap was enough to break each tablet into several pieces. Then all the fragments were loaded into the mortar and they were much easier to crush. You could also opt for the automatic method and simply put the tablets into a blender or a coffee grinder. Grinding up 500 tablets with a mortar and pestle was surprisingly tiring and I don't really recommend it. This is what the final powderized 500 tablets looked like. I then dissolved all of the crushed up aspirin in about 1 liter of acetone. You could easily replace the acetone with methanol or ethanol. I added the aspirin powder slowly to avoid jamming the stir bar with excess undissolved powder. I let the solution stand for about an hour to let a lot of the starch and cellulose sink to the bottom. I then vacuum filtered the solution and I washed the starch cellulose solid twice with 100 milliliters of acetone. Now all that needs to be done is to evaporate the acetone to recover the acetosalicylic acid. If you're at home, the best course of action is to transfer the solution to a large open top container and then let it sit in a well-ventilated area to evaporate off all the acetone. I had access to a rotovap, so I transferred the solution to a round bottom flask and evaporated all of the acetone. This is the final product after drying in an oven overnight. The final yield was 94%.